I'm Andy Schostrom, and my company is The Good Handyman, and I am here to take care of some projects around the house to get this house ready for sale. A good thing to do before you start taping off is to take a, a nice clean rag, wet it down, and wipe off all the surfaces that are going to get taped off because a dirty, dusty surface is not going to hold that tape very well. And you'd be surprised how much dust and dirt lies up on these flat surfaces like this. So really you just need to kind of go around and make sure that they're wiped clean. You don't need any soap. In particular, you want to use a, a, a low adhesive tape that's not going to stick to, especially when, you, when you're putting it on drywall because the concern is that as you peel that tape away, it'll actually remove the top layer of paint. And then you've created a bigger job for yourself. So a low adhesive uh, scotch tape, the blue tape, paint, the blue painter's tape that everybody knows, that's the best stuff. Um, they, make it, uh, they make it even in, in seven day uh, adhesive quality so, so that you can actually leave it on for a full week and not have to worry about it. But get it off as soon as you can because the less time it spends on you, the better off. So in a situation like this, we want to make sure that we get the tape down as close to the tile as possible. But the concern when you're taping or when you're painting against tape is that you don't want that paint to get into the porousness of the tile, whether it be the grout or the tile itself. They're both porous and they both pick up paint like crazy. And it's difficult to, it's more difficult to get paint out of porous surfaces than it is off of a smooth surface like a countertop or a mirror or something like that. So tape off nice and tight, but give yourself a little bit of play because you can always come back and touch it up with a brush. A good thing to do once you've got that tape laid on is you want to take your fingernail, your thumb, or your, your forefinger and just run it nice and tight against there. Use that to, to create a nice tight bond with that tape against the surface as you're working against. Because if you don't, the paint will actually bleed in and suck in underneath that tape. 